Welcome to another Remix single. We are going to talk about pending UI. So we want to indicate to the user that the, that the app is thinking. So we've got this little people app that we've been working with in these first videos. Um, so when I put my name in here, I hit enter and it actually kind of has a delay. Um, so if I click here, click, you know, it takes a half a second or so to actually get in there. So I'm going to add some uh, pending UI to this button so that like we know that it's thinking. So let's come down to our form that has this add button. And I basically want to know like, is it pending? Are we busy, right? If we're busy, I want to say adding. Otherwise, I want to say uh, just add. So how do I figure out if I'm busy or not? So I'm gonna come up here and bring in a hook from Remix called Use Transition. <clears throat> so Use Transition is going to uh, tell us everything that's happening in the browser, um, or sorry, everything that's happening in Remix when Remix is handling this transition instead of the browser. If the browser's handling this transition, right, we can, we can just, if we disable JavaScript here, um, and reload this. When I add somebody new here, the the spinners and stuff up here in the favicon are gonna start going right. So the so the browser handles the pending UI here. What we're saying is, you know, what, I'm being, I'm not just building a website. I'm trying to build a, a even cooler user experience than that. So I want to have control over this pending UI. Transition has a few things on it. Uh, it has a state variable on it that'll tell you if we're idle, submitting, or loading. There is no like, we're done with a, with a submission state because it, depending on how you get to the page, your initial page render could be the result of a submission like we just had, right? We just had a, we posted and then it rendered the page and that's, that's an idle state. So um, when you are in submitting and loading, there is this uh, thing called submission. And this submission has all the information. You can think about it like this form. It has information like uh, what's the method, uh, what's the ink type, um, what's the form data. So that's, that's pretty interesting sometimes. But all we really care about is, is there a submission? Well, yes, there is. So we're going to say busy equals if we have a submission. That means we're busy. So now down here, our code should just work out for us. Let's give it a shot. Uh, all right, here I go. Click, hey, hey, that's really it. I mean, you can use your imagination now to like figure out all of the various ways that you could add different uh, pending indicators. You could put spinners up, you can do, uh, you wanna disable, uh, you wanna disable uh, fields. Uh, maybe you just wanna disable the button here when say disabled equals busy, and now they can't click the button again. Although we know that Remix will deal with them clicking that button really fast on you. Kelly busy. <laughs> uh, so now this is gonna be disabled, so we can't click it. Pretty cool. So that is pending UI. Um, we actually have a bit of a, a problem here though, because this, this busy indicator is based on this transition, this transition is, is basically global. You can, it's a singleton essentially. Um, React Router is only ever going to a new location, not like three new locations, there's only ever one. Form submissions and link clicks are all a transition like that. So um, this means any other forms on our page are gonna send this add button into a busy state, which I don't think is what we meant. See, so watch this. If I click this button, that goes into a busy state. Probably not what we meant to do. So uh, what you can do is, uh, I'm gonna actually inline this. <clears throat> so let's go down to this button and just decide if we actually wanna do it on this one. So I'm gonna say, if transition.state equals uh, submitting, and I'm gonna add a little bit in here, data. I know this is getting a little bit long, um, and then we're gonna say .get, action 
equals create. We can also like, if you really hate this, which I kind of do, um, we could pull this out and say, um, is adding. And then we can decide that up here. All right, yeah, if we're submitting, and we're creating. All right, let's save this. Oops, still using busy, apparently, because I'm not using TypeScript, so I didn't get anything yelling at me. Or yes, lint is adding. Here we go, so if I click this, this should not change. And then if I add something, it should. Cool. There's a, there's pending UI. You can use your imagination from there. Um, you can put spinners in different places. You can fade things in and out. You can use CSS animation. You can bring in frame or motion. Like you can do whatever you want to do at this point. This, this is adding thing is just like any other react state that maybe you would have tracked yourself in Remix. You don't have to track that. You can just ask it about the transition and say, Hey, what's, what's going on? What's being submitted. Um, and then, from there, like normal React stuff applies. So whatever really cool web app UI that you and your designers come up with, you can do it because all you need is some state.